This is a channel about a man who scrapped together what little money he had to purchase a piece of property and try to create a mortgage-free life. Welcome back to Slower. All right, here is the plan. I am clearing out the property enough to bring on a vintage camper, which I am currently fixing up as I speak. Well, not as I speak, but before and after I'm speaking here, I've been fixing it up. I had a, a popped tire on it that was completely shredded and all of the bolts were seized. Uh, I did finally get them off, but I snapped them. Um, anyway. Once I get the camper here, I will be able to be sleeping here, waking up here, and working here immediately every single day. And the plan from there is to build a small structure, roughly, say, 15 by 15, or even 12 by 12, something around there. Um, with all of the lumber that I have from my grandpa's barn, plus whatever I have to purchase or scrap together apart from that. Uh, the big problem that I have right now is one tree, that tree. So as you can see, that tree is dead or nearly dead. It's got holes from animals and insects all up it. And it's got a lot of limbs that are hanging that are just ready to fall and honestly kill someone. So this tree's a big problem because where it is uh, and where it would fall potentially during a storm is directly where I would be building a cabin or parking a car, pretty much doing anything where you would want to be. So it's got to go. Um, however, I'm not sure how tall this tree is. 
it's considerably taller than 10 of me, I would guess. So that's over 60 feet. I would say this tree's at least 80 feet tall. Um, probably 24 inches across. That's a big, big dead tree. My neighbor came over here and told me terrifying stories about how two of his friends have died cutting down trees that looked like this, that had this kind of awkward bend in it. This one has a little notch like that. You cut down the dead tree, you walk the direction that you think is safe. While you're not looking, the tree splits in half and he has had two friends die by getting hit by the tree as it falls, split in half. So, this tree scares me. This tree scares every neighbor that I've had over here and all of my neighbors you know, they're not scared by trees. Everyone runs chainsaws around here. I think I'm gonna pay someone to get rid of this tree and I think I've gotta do that before I can do anything else. I can't even realistically park here at any moment this tree could go. So I am probably gonna hire someone to cut this down because I personally don't think it's worth my safety just to be macho and cut down every tree on my plot. But the plan is within the next uh, two to three weeks, getting the camper here safely, no tree, uh, fixing up my camper so that I feel very comfortable living in it for the year, and then immediately getting to work on pulling permits and uh, erecting a, a structure for myself that I can, that I can live in. Once I get to a certain point, or maybe once the season gets to a certain point where I'm comfortable not sleeping in my camper, I will sell that camper, use the money to put towards this project, and uh, hopefully by the beginning of winter we'll be all, all wrapped up, we'll be weather tight, and I'll have somewhere that I can sleep indoors. Going through the scrap pile at the barn, I found this gigantic tool. It's labeled Bell System. When I looked that up, that goes back to uh, when we had one phone company in the United States, the Bell Company, and uh, they marked all their tools Bell System. So I am going to use it to take apart the woodshed.
sun went down on me, but I uh, figured we could share what we ate. Uh, for the first night here, uh, I cooked myself some sweet potatoes and onions, just simmered them in butter. And uh, I got a big hunk of French bread here with some goat cheese on it. And uh, I got a cold beer, a mug of hot tea. It's, it's honestly like really, this is pretty ideal to me. I, I love being in the woods, I love camping, so we're already mortgage free. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Now we just gotta build a house. If you want to support this project monetarily, I've started a Patreon account. If you want to watch this for free, that's amazing too. I'm just grateful for everyone that's here participating, subscribing, commenting, and watching.